Today, we're going to the LEGO store to spend big. Why? Because it's double VIP points. Hey everybody, welcome back, Jordan here. Last time we were at the LEGO store, we saw some awesome stuff on their shelves that's probably gonna be retiring soon. And also we saw some stuff that we need for our collection here in the LEGO room. So today we're gonna to be going to the LEGO store and doing a little bit of an extravagant LEGO shopping trip. And we're gonna be getting some awesome stuff. Whew. So let's roll on out and do some really exciting Lego shopping. Woohoo! All right, we've arrived here at the West Edmonton Mall Lego store to do some damage during Double Points Week. Right on. I wonder if they'll sell me this sign here. That'd be pretty cool for the Lego room, hey? I want it. I'll take it. I think that would be one heck of a replacement for the Brixie wall, as per usual. Always getting here before the doors open up. I'm pretty excited. Store's really well stocked. I don't really know what I'm gonna get, but there's gonna be some stuff for the shelves. There's gonna be stuff for investment. And there's gonna be some awesome things in there that, you know what, are gonna do really well over time. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys right now. I'm gonna get some things that are gonna be sort of investment purposes uh, here for just like the Brixie YouTube channel. And there's gonna be some good stuff that I'm really excited to uh, sort of store away for the future. All right, so today we are going to be getting a little bit extravagant here in the Lego store. And obviously we're probably gonna be picking up some of the sets here in this section of the store. And the first thing that I'm gonna grab is this guy right here. This is Assembly Square. It's been available at this store for quite some time. It's $339.99, uh, 4,002 pieces. Uh, recently the downtown diner retired. And I think this is the next modular building that's gonna retire here especially when they come up with a new one in 2022. So yeah, that one there is coming with me. I collect a little bit of Technic and I definitely attempt to build them. This is one of the newer Technic sports cars and I do collect the sports cars. We have things like the Porsche 911 RSR, also the Lamborghini Sion and the Bugatti Chiron. And you know what? I think it's time that we add this one here to the collection. So the next set that we're gonna be getting is the Ferrari 488 GTE AF course number 51. Comes with lots of sticker elements, but it looks absolutely fantastic. Retails for $229.99 and has 1,677 pieces. Normally when you're at the Lego store, you can build your own minifigure where you get a leg piece, a torso piece, a head, a hair or hat, and also one accessory. It looks like you can choose any of these pre-built minifigures right here. And it's B-A-M on the bottom. Build a minifigure. I find myself back here at the adults welcome section where we can find all of the 18 plus sets and also creator expert sets. And right down here, there's something that's got my attention. It's the NASA Apollo Saturn V rocket. This is actually a reissued set which I don't think is gonna stick around for much longer actually after 2021 is gone. I just realized there's 1,969 pieces. Does that symbolize something? Probably. Retails for $149.99 and I'm gonna get one of those as well. So we seem to be doing all uh, right over here in the Creator Expert lineup, but you know what? I don't think I've had enough space yet. I think we wanna get a little bit more space here and I'm gonna get the NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander. This says pretty cool, 1,087 pieces. And I think it's gonna be a good one to have for the future. You know, the space sets are pretty awesome. In particular, I really like the new NASA Space Shuttle Discovery. That one recently just came out. It's in a spectacular build and it's amazing. $269.99, 2,354 pieces, but that one will be staying here on the shelves at the Lego store. I don't think I'm done with space yet though. I find myself here in the Star Wars department. They've got some awesome stuff here, you know, Millennium Falcons, the helmets, helmet lineup's about to be expanded. We've got the Razor Crest, we've got Grogu, Yoda. Down here we've got the, uh, the Star Destroyer, UCS. And there's also the A-Wing right here. The A-Wing is actually a really good Ultimate Collector Series uh, Starship that I really thoroughly enjoy building. It's spectacular. It retails for $259.99, has 1,673 pieces. You know what? I'm gonna think about that one though. I don't know if there's anything that I want to get from a galaxy far, far away today. I'm thinking something maybe even a little more prehistoric. 
Maybe the Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage, $299.99, 3,120 pieces, but such a great theme and actually has some spectacular building techniques and some awesome stories behind the Jurassic Park gate, not to mention you get the T-Rex. It comes with some awesome minifigures that can be displayed on the display stand with this nice specifications plaque there. And then you can see all the great scenes that it has on the back of the box here. You know what? We are gonna bring this one home as well. So Jose was actually eyeing up something on this pod right here. We've got things like the Porsche, the Harley Davidson, the Flower Bouquet, Mickey and Minnie. She was actually looking at this right here, which is the Friends set. This is gonna be a nice little set, very similar to the Big Bang Theory one. And also we have a Seinfeld one coming up in the near future as well. This one here retails for $89.99, and I think I'm gonna get one of those and add it to our pile behind the counter, which is starting to grow. I'm over here browsing the selection in the Harry Potter area, also the Marvel and DC superheroes. We've got some great sets in the DC lineup. We got the Batwing and also the 89 Batmobile, which is a fantastic set. 300 bucks, 3,308 pieces. We've got so much to think about today, don't we? <laughs> I love that Batmobile, it's a great set. I said that I wasn't gonna go to a galaxy far, far away, but I'm eating my words now. I think I'm gonna get an A-Wing. Woo! I love this set. And you know what? I was just thinking to myself, Y-Wing and the Snowspeeder and many other UCS sets have come and gone and just vanished off the shelf so quickly in the past. So I'm gonna get myself an A-Wing. You know, I definitely think the A-Wing is a pretty good pickup. I've definitely done stranger things in the past, and oh there's a stranger thing set up here the upside down i think i might try that one out as well it comes with some great minifigures on the nice display stand you get hopper's vehicle there it's just an all-around brilliant set that displays really well also the one thing that i really like about stranger things hey what the heck is that minifigure doing over there that is random <laughs> that has nothing to do with the set that is so weird but the thing that I like about Stranger Things is it's a one-off set. You know, Star Wars, there's lots of different sets. Uh, creator Expert rides, modular buildings, there's lots of different sets. But Stranger Things, this is the one and only Stranger Things set. $269.99, 2,287 pieces, the upside down. Not to mention, it comes with a Demi-Gorgon. I've heard some strange news recently about these base plates. Apparently, they're gonna be gone moving into 2022 isn't that wild so because i have a huge lego city we're going to get 10 green base plates because i need them for the uh, cliff edge that we're going to be building around in jago city i need somewhere to put uh, all those merps right and build that cliff edge so yeah we got to get 10 green base plates while it's double points for sure jose here i don't ask for much but i want this you want what which one Oh, the carriage. Cinderella's royal carriage, I guess. All right, we'll get it. Hey, it's pretty cool, eh? It's well, not we, bad. We have the older one, so Yeah, it looks not? pretty sweet. All right, let's get that one too for Jose. So I got the green base plates, and you know what? I've got to replace some of the water base plates in my LEGO city. I made the mistake of getting some different water base plates a long time ago. Well, what I mean by water is blue but they're sort of an off-brand because LEGO wasn't selling them. So I want to slowly switch all mine over and I think this will switch over all of my last base plates to authentic LEGO classic base plates, which is a good feeling. <laughs> I want to put this thing in the LEGO room, eh? Put this under the, uh, the table, that'd be pretty cool. Look at the stud shooter. A <laughs> stud shooter, that's so cool. We've got the Crocodile, we've got the Porsche, the Fiat, the Ford Mustang, the Harley Davidson, the James Bond Aston Martin DB5. My wife says I'm capped out. No! But you know what, some uh, just went away. The uh, Volkswagen Beetle and also the uh, camper van just went away. Also, the, the coaster would have been a good one to get today too, wouldn't it? What do you think, Jose? Come on, come on. Let's do it. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. 
It's madness, everyone. Oh yeah, there we go. Awesome. Braden told me to give uh, Donovan and also Janelle a big shout out here at the Lego store. All right, so we've got uh, our big haul here loaded up on the cart and we're ready to head out. We've got some personalized service here, so that's pretty fantastic. There's my biggest haul ever from the Lego store. Pretty incredible, cost over 2,000 Canadian dollars. There we go, we've got our little haul here. Actually, I don't think it's that little. You can hear them rolling away with the cart there. Loaded into the back of the CRV. Good thing I traded in the CRV and got myself a Ferrari, so that's pretty awesome. Woo! Huge mega haul here at the Lego store. Pretty sweet, I'm stoked. So the massive haul is safely stowed away here in the Lego room now. I guess it's sort of blocking the hallway here, isn't it? But yeah, some good stuff. We got the Ferrari for our own shelves here. That's gonna go with all the other vehicles on these shelves right here. Uh, the Friend set, Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage, the NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander, and also the Saturn V, that's in this bag together there. Assembly Square, Stranger Things, the A-Wing, and then <laughs> the uh, Cinderella carriage for Jose, and 20 base plates, 10 green, 10 blue, so that we can build our cliff edge, or start to build it, along the back there. You'll see there's a white spot right there all along that all needs base plates. And then there's a bunch of the blue base plates, which I'll be swapping out for those uh, nice Lego classic base plates. Whew, I just love Lego shopping so much. It's my favorite thing in the world. It makes me extremely happy. And what am I gonna do with all of these sets? Well, they're what I consider to be investment sets. And I know I'm gonna get asked it. How do I afford these investment sets? What I do is I actually have a little BrickLink store and I sell things on the BrickLink store and I take the profits from that and I reinvest it in Lego for the room and also for the BrickLink store so that we can continue doing what we're doing here on a daily basis. And of course I make videos about it as well and we build and uh, we buy, build and display and review all of the awesome Lego sets in this Lego room here. So that's sort of goes, goes along with it, right? So that's our largest Lego haul ever in one go. <laughs> it's extreme. Wasn't lying. The title of the, uh, the video doesn't lie and nor does the beginning of it. A huge Lego haul. Guys, remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on my YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.